This is all dry now. I am now ready to start sheeting. Now the base color is the medium color, which is the Desert Turquoise from DecoArt. Now I need to make the shading a little bit darker in order to do that. I am going to use, I happen to have um, a Delta, a Delta color um, Spice Brown. I am using up what I have. Now remember, it is dark into light. In this case, the blue, I think, is the light. So let's put some of that down. And then the brown. Make sure you have paper towel next to you. Another thing you should have on your table are those, oh, I call them wiper dipes. And your water. All right, let's mix it up. That really came out like a green. It's coming out darker in the shade that I want. Now, if I was to go to the store and I purchase, you know, the turquoise, right next to it, it would be a darker one, a darker one, a darker one. And then next to it on the other side would be the lighter colors of that color. There was a time when I had all the colors, but I actually haven't painted in a long time. I used to be a decorative painter. I am going to spritz. Am I going to spritz a little water on that? I would like to. A spritzer bottle with water is another good supply to have. And I believe they have those at Dollar Tree. I always have them a peanut on my lap because I have on decent pants. Now, if I had on, you know, yucky pants that I didn't care about, I wouldn't get one little bit of paint on it. But because I have good pants on, I would. So I have learned a long time ago. Cover it up. All right, I am going to use a one half inch flat brush. This is, see my lines? This is a, a big surface. So um, I'm going to use a bigger brush and I am going to just go, do you see the lines? I am going to go above the lines. Load up your brush with water and blot it out a little bit. You still want water in there. And then with the corner of the brush, you dip into your paint. You see how I dipped? It's just a corner. Okay. And then just work it out a little bit. Let me go right here. So the paint is just on half of my brush. Now when you do floating or shading, it's called floating or shading, you just do it once. You have to let it dry if you want to go back. So I am going to start here and just follow my line. And it looks marvelous. And stop there. Do I have enough paint on my brush to go on? I don't know. After I do like a line, I like to go back and load again. And I can see in my monitor that that looks really good. Yes, yes it does. So load it up again, work it out. And I'm going to come over here, I'm going to go around that bend. Remember, turn your piece so it is easy for you to paint. Come up there. There. And you can see that there's, it's dark, a little dark right there. Just a little bit of shading, just to give it some dimension. Let's go to a different part of the truck so that can dry.
and I am doing it on top. Oops. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Well, that was a long, the long way to get there. Okay. And lay it down and follow that line and lift. Perfect. Load it. Work it out. And come over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, I can see in the monitor and I can see up close that it's darker there than the other places, but I need to wait until those other places have dried before I can go back and, um, you know, make things more consistent, I guess. All right, so over here I'm going on, yes, on top. It's easier to drag towards you also. Okay, so I need to stop right in that corner. There you go. Wonderful. Now I need to go around the door. I'm just going places where I know I'm not going to hit a wet spot. Now these are the basics of shade painting, I guess you would call it. There are other ways to shade too, but I'm not going to confuse you. All right, so I'm coming around the corner. Come up. And actually, I go, oh, can you hear my dryer? No, it's not the dryer, it's the spinner, but I do have um, my microphone right next to me. So if there's something in the background, I can't, I can't go stop it, I just can't. All right, so let's get over here. Come around. Now, because I only have paint on half the brush, some of the brush went over here because I can see that it's wet, but there's no color there because there's no paint there. Load up again, work it out, and this time, whew, which direction should I go? I'm going to come around the wheel well and See how I went over? That time I had too much paint over there. So because I have that layer of um, sealer, see how it came right off? Didn't even know it was there. Let's dry it.